So, ladies, are you ready for this? Yep. Mm -hmm. OK, so I'm going to kick off with a question from Kerry. Uh, Kerry asks, do any of the loose ladies have any burning ambitions as yet unfulfilled? And if so, what? And Louise also, as a separate question, but sort of linked, wants to know if what, what we would be doing if we weren't on TV. Well, I feel like I can answer this one because my job isn't just on telly. You know, I, I love being on Loose, but I'm usually here sort of once a week. And my main job is uh, with my charity. Um, and it's funny because I'm no expert in the medical field. I'm just like a patient voice. And one of the schemes we run is a mentoring scheme. So it's peer support where we have burn survivors who are further on their journey mentoring others. And it's something I really enjoy. And for me, it has its similarities to telly because I love talking to people, finding out their stories, connecting with them. And I would love to take that further and study and take it professionally to counselling, maybe into psychiatric care, um, when people are, you know, sectioned in mental health wards yeah. and, and formalise it and do something like that. That's incredible. Nadia, yeah. what would you be doing? I imagine you'd be like a chef or something, would you? Oh, God, no, actually. No? No, no, it's such hard work. I don't want to be a chef. <laughs> I mean, I, I, things are quite good at the moment, because when I'm not on telly, I am kind of living out my dream of being a middle-aged YouTube sensation. <laughs> <laughs> that was an ambition I had a few years ago, and I really, really enjoy that. But if I wasn't in telly or any of that at all, I, a bit like you, Katie, I'd love to do some sort of counselling. I'm fascinated by the human condition. Yeah, yeah. I never meet anyone without trying to work out everything about them, even with guests, everything. So that would just be delicious. Um, but I've always had a dream of being a midwife. Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah. well, I love women and I love supporting women and I love babies and I don't mind vaginas either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not squeamish about that sort of thing, <laughs> you know. Do you know what you'd do? Um, I think I'd like to do some more acting. I wish I'd done more acting over the last few years because of Loose Women. I think now it's more like celebrity sort of things and that. So I'd like to play. Oh, a I'd like to be a serial sick. killer. You're in such some a good I'd like, I'd like, like to be a the, really oh, bad evil oh. person. I know. You, so because I always get you? nice parts and I don't want to be nice anymore. I want to be really evil. Really Would you like horrible. to do something on stage then? I don't mind. Stage or TV. Anything as long as Anything you can be evil. Come on, guys. She's a brilliant actress. Well, I think for me, what I would do is I'd probably go back to music because I'm classically trained on the piano and stuff and oh, I didn't know that. used to play percussion in orchestras and all of that stuff but I gave it up because my lessons were on a Friday evening and I found sitting on the local common drinking cider with boys instead. Yes, <laughs> it is better at that. <laughs> we have that in common, you and I. Oh, so I, knew, I knew we were connected. <laughs> no, I, can't believe, I can't believe she's not on EastEnders. She's well, the most perfect. <laughs> I, mean, I grew up watching you yeah. as a feather, and I yeah. all I, I think of you. I did a wartime EastEnders. We did Civvy Street yeah. years, yeah. And years ago. So, yeah. I only think of you as an actress. Look at pitching for you to do. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. I love it. girls. I know. Yeah. Uh, I got another <laughs> question from Lena. Uh, dear Lisa Women, I wanted to know how can I learn to love my imperfect body and try to find love even if I don't uh, fully love myself? Nadia? Wow, this is such an enormous question yeah. and it takes a lot of work. And what I would say is don't look to love your body straight away. Don't look to be body confident. What does that mean? When people say to me, oh, you're body confident, I could never be confident like you. I'm not. I just work at it every day. And what I've worked towards is body acceptance. So I accept this body of mine. I am I got sick and tired of feeling sick and tired and wasting my time thinking about, oh, God, is this OK? Is that OK? It, it's madness. But I have to keep the voices in check that are living in there all the time that can just start... There's no enemy worse than me. So, mm. so try, if you've got voices in your head telling you really negative things, try and think of some part of your body that serves you so well and love it for that. I love my womb. It gave me my children. My husband says he loves his hands because he can write, and when he writes, he doesn't feel so anxious and all of that. So lots of little steps on a daily basis yeah. it's not one big does the same go for you Katie? yeah i mean i love what you do on your social media i think there's a real authenticity about you and you're fun with it as well you know it's not all serious and i think it helps people that even aren't there yet it is an allyship that you provide for people um but i agree with what nadia said that acceptance it's about feeling neutral because that word love love is a strong word how can anyone look in the mirror every day and love what they see i think you set yourself up for failure and you feel like oh 
well, that's how everyone else feels and I just can't get there, so am I, am I doing something wrong? Mm -hmm. If I just feel neutral about my face or body, then that's a, a really good day. Yeah. You know? I've never heard of yeah. that way around. I Neutrality. Like that. Yeah. Neutral. neutral. You shouldn't have any feeling good or bad. that's another you've just given me that. Well, you're just a vessel and you're living and, it's, and, and all the amazing things that the human body does and bounces back from. Why do you have God, to have a good that. or bad? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just neutral yeah. and it's and, and respectful of my body. Yeah, I agree with yeah. that because in connection to what you said regarding, you know, you, you, your womb housed two children, and I think about it a very similar way where my body is concerned is rather than sort of thinking like, oh, I haven't lost the, the flab from, give it, from giving birth the last time or, or, you know, my tummy is still not quite at the point at which it was before. But I always sort of think, but it housed two kids. Yeah. yeah, and I gave birth to two children, oh, and that so shows the strength it. of my body that I've done it, and I'm still here mm. to tell the tale. And I but think... would you admit that sometimes it's difficult to get there, isn't it? Sometimes we can oh. slip into just the self-loathing. And I think, but I think sometimes it's from it's coming from other people. Mm. You know, I'll never forget when I first started doing ICB News. And we're going back 15 years now, so it's before social media. Social media was still in its, in its infancy then. The only way that people could get hold of you really was through email. And I was working the night shifts at ICB, so my show was at five o'clock in the morning. And I will never forget, about three months in, I had an email from a viewer, subject line, your weight. Oh, and then, and then the, the body of it was, you cannot fail to have noticed that you're larger than other news readers. I feel you need to understand that's a problem. Oh my God. A man or a woman? Man. Um, and then, you know, then it would have really affected me. But with age comes more confidence. Yeah. And mm. my body's able to achieve so many different things. And it, it aids me to, you know, be an effective parent, be there for my children, be there for my dance partner. Dance the night away. Love dance the night away. Be, <laughs> yeah. you know, do, the think, do a job I love. I think our body stories campaign really made me, like, like my body, love my body. Mm. Because, I mean, going out that first day, we all went to the pub yeah. first, didn't Changed we? And then we walked lives, in the that. studios, studio full of young boys and everything, and it was just like we were all traumatised going out there. But I just think, when I've got the picture up in my in my kitchen still, like, and I look Aww. at it and I think, look at our lovely bodies. Yeah. All different Makes shapes sense. and sizes, stretch marks, veins, everything. But as we said, I had three lovely children. You had two, yeah, you had two. It was two. the beginning you of the two. change for a lot of us, that campaign. Yeah, it really but was. But it was also the beginning of a change, actually, in the way that people reported. Because that year we all went on holiday and we absolutely knew that newspapers and magazines weren't going to be... Well, it wasn't going to be... Um, accepted if they all went, oh, look at all the loose women looking disgusting. Yeah, in the yeah. So I think it was such an important campaign. That yeah, was amazing. Really was. Yeah.